You are listening to the Rad Gaming Podcast with your host, Pescador, featuring Max. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about a little bit of The Mandalorian, maybe a little bit of Rick and Morty, maybe some uh, some concept theories there. Uh, then we're going to talk about a little bit of Sonic, right? We're going to talk a little bit of Half-Life. Um, we also dropped into, what, what we got? We got Tony Hawk. We got Rockstar's new game, and then um, what everyone's looking forward to from Black Friday. Support for the Rag Gaming Podcast comes from Manscaped, who is the best in the men's below-the-belt grooming. Manscaped offers precision-engineered tools for your sensitive areas. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not barbarians. We got to make sure that we are well-groomed, and that is precisely why Manscaped has redesigned the electric trimmer. Their lawnmower 2.0 has proprietary skin-safe technology so that trimmers won't nick and snag your sensitive areas. Manscaping accidents are finally a thing of the past. Guys, don't use the same trimmer you use on your face as you do in your nether region. That's just nasty. Manscaped also offers other items such as anti-chafing deodorant and moisturizer. Guys, you already put deodorant in your armpits. Why are you not putting deodorant on other parts of your body that do smell as well? Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code BIGHEADS at manscaped.com. Guys, you always have to use the right tools for the job. Your sensitive areas will thank you. I promise you that. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com with the code BIGHEADS. That is B-I-G-H-E-A-D-S. Also, the Red Game Podcast is sponsored by Chenta Fury. Chenta Fury is the lifestyle, is the fashion brand, and they have a ton of comfortable clothing. I just purchased myself some sandals from Chenta Fiore, and they are extremely comfortable. You need to pick yourself up a pair of them. If you don't have them already, they are amazing. I wear them everywhere. That is C-E-N-T-O-F-I-O-R-I.com. Also, the Rag Game Podcast is part of Big Heads Media. With that said, on to the podcast. There's too many games that come out and a lot of people want to wait until the very end. They want to wait until Black Friday and they're like, on Black Friday I'm going to buy all these games. And then like games never get played and then you just waste your money and it's like trying to keep up with the times. With that being said, never picked up Jedi Fallen Order. As much as I wanted to, life has been busy lately. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, sometimes life does would get you, busy. When did you take it back? I had it for almost a week. And I took it back a couple, like two days after the podcast, and I played a little bit more, and I got a lot farther. And the game gets really fun. Does it? So, yeah, so yeah. you switched. You switched back over now. I did. I think it was just more or less they wanted to try to get you to understand a lot of the force um, and the places that you can go, I think, is why okay. it was like kind of boring to me. But it got really good really quickly um, okay. shortly after that area that we got that stuck little, in. That so. little spot where I was jumping from that rope a hundred times. Yeah, that that area. But you got you got suckered into the game like super late, so you didn't really get a chance know, to another right. control. I really, I know, I still want to play it. My buddy, uh, my my buddy played it. He um, he beat it in nineteen hours. I think was what he said. He beat it in nineteen hours. That's insanity. Um, what do you, what do you know? What difficulty you played it on? Probably normal. I would assume normal. normal. But I mean, it's it only my go-to, though, everyone. So. Everyone's is saying it's only a twenty-hour game, so. I guess that just is it worth like uh, is it worth to me? It is. From what I saw, I would buy it for sixty bucks and play it, and then if I had to lose half price, I probably would. But that's just based off what I saw. You play? No, what I'm saying, like, so would you rent it just because it's like, is it worth the replay value? In my opinion, because the the story doesn't change whatsoever. But the difficulty, yeah, it's the still same storyline. Like, okay, for instance, I'm saying if you bought um, the Outer Worlds, the story can change quite a bit. There's a lot of ways that you can explore the world, and there's a ton of different companions you can use, different weapons you can use, everything. You can change a lot of different things about the way you play the game hmm. in that kind of game. Like, so a, fable, that, like that, a fable type Yeah, style? yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm saying like that kind of game to me has replay value, so I'll definitely buy it. With that said, though, I love The Last of Us, and it would definitely worth $60 because the, yeah, the, the game is, yeah. I know, I do have it right beside me, actually, which is He kinda, sleeps with it. He sleeps with this game. It's like, it might be under my pillow. It might be. You're actually. absolutely right. It's in my it's in my PlayStation. Is it? Is it in there? It's in there. No. Okay. I was just saying, if it's not in there, it's in my PlayStation, so I, I don't know. But I was I, swear, I was like, I was just playing Jedi Fallen Order, so I don't think there's anything in there right now. Yeah. Um, 
But I get what you're saying, though. Replay value is huge. Is huge on video games. Yep. Um, which is why Call of Duty does so well because you can always get online and play. Yep. The uh, it just has constant, or you can just constantly play it. So. Yeah. Well, um, I know, and I, I got to bring it up again. I know that we saw a little bit ago that uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Is oh, saying oh, about Lord. yeah, you can say it. You can have it. Sorry. No, go ahead. Multiplayer, bro. They're saying we're gonna have multiplayer. Now, yeah, right? and they say that it's 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 definitely gonna happen, but it depends on when. They don't know when yet. We don't they know. Don't, they don't know what's going on exactly. They say that they're still testing everything because this is their first multiplayer game they've created. So they're kind of testing things out and seeing how things go. And then they'll kind of, I guess, implement that concept later on in the game. That'd be cool, though. It'd be a cool little. To go go and do missions with your buddy and me and yeah. you play. That and... game though has ap- excellent replay value. Not only does it have you know a huge storyline that you can change um, consistently, like mm-hmm. you, can, you can change a lot of things about that game. Uh, the gangs that you represent, uh, the, the weapons that you use, your play style. Like there's yeah. different types of characters you can play as. So you you don't. They said that you don't. You can go through the entire game without killing a single person. Like it's possible and beat it. So I think it's with hacker. I would assume just because yeah, I would just, I can think they, I they can hack and use them. I don't know, but um, <laughs> I, I don't know how that's possible. And I would love to try it, but I think that that'd be not my cup of tea. I love going in guns blazing. Even like stealthy games, I go in guns blazing. Don't you? Yeah. Oh. Are you like? Are you very good at stealthy Dude, games? I'm, uh, I'm asking. Uh, not siphon filter. What's the other one? Splinter what was Cell? the Splinter Cell? Dude, I was bad at Splinter Cell because I'm a, I'm a I'm a guns of blazing so type of person. And um, what's the other one? Uh, Hitman. I was gonna say I was terrible Hitman. at Hitman. I was so bad at Hitman, dude, because I just I just want to kill. You, like, so seriously, do you remember Splinter Cell when you played it? That noise that it came on when your night vision goggles came. I was like, yeah. Do you think like is like I wonder if they can like they can see the green and see it like like if you're in real life like can you can like can you hear that? Yeah, you can. Yeah, no, I, I'm like, I'm being serious. Like you, can, you can. So like, you used night vision before, right? I have used night vision before. And yes. you can hear that kick on. You can hear it kick on. Yeah. Really? And it, when it's really quiet, you turn it on. You can hear it. It's real. It's not as loud. It's as like humming it. though. It's like a it's little. Like, yeah, like it. it like it, yeah, it comes on, man. Really? I swear. And like, so do you see any coloration in the front? Like it's all green. Well, you have different. Can you see you the green though? I'm saying from a distance. Or no, is it just no, so no, 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 no. The, the only time you can see green is if you don't have like a uh, the eye cup that goes around your eye. Yeah. So if that eye cup is ripped off and your lens is oh, here, you can see it's going to blow your face. Yeah. So it kind of like, oh, okay. Yeah. Makes sense. And then the white phosphorus night vision goggles are always the best. They're the they're the really good ones. So they're like the white kind they're of. The, they don't du- really show. The, they got the bio, the uh, dual lens, and then they're white. They're fucking white phosphorus, and they're sick. That's they're that. sick. Yeah. All right. Well, now that I got that taken care of, I've always I've always wanted. It does. It's, now, not, it's not. It's not as loud as it is in um in in Splinter Cell. Yeah, I think it's super is. loud. I'm, I yeah, because like, you like click it on. It's like if yeah, if your speakers are up, it's like. <laughs> but no, but like I was kind behind enemies and just yeah. choom, like there's no, no way they, they can't hear. They wouldn't. That. Be, they they wouldn't be able to hear it. But when you're out in the woods, someplace real real late at night, and you're getting up and you click them on and it's silent, you can hear them like. Come on, you, like you ever like hear someone from a distance be like, "Oh, no, just turn on the night vision." It's not. It's not that loud. I'm saying like it's, it's like, not like I'm not saying like I'm not saying like 20 billion feet the other direction. No, you would like, If I was 10 right, feet, can you hear it 10 right, feet? No, no, no. Five. That's feet? what I'm saying. No, like you might be able to hear it if we were both listening for it and like turned it on right here. So you're saying me I'm saying when so you so have two it, feet when, I'm saying when you have your helmet on, you have your night vision goggles, you fold them down, and then you click uh, the little thing. I can hear it. I, you can hear it. You can hear it. Like, and it's real high pitched. You can hear it. Okay. That's oh, what I'm saying. That's awesome. I've always wanted to know that. They just made, they over exaggerate everything like a, like a uh, Hollywood movie. No, oh, yeah. Well, of course. They kind of, uh, what I, want, I wonder if the, like the, because I know Splitter Cell was made back in the day. I wonder if the old school night vision goggles <laughs> were like, I'm talking about super P- I'm talking, loud. <laughs> I'm talking about, I'm, yeah, no, they, they're not. I'm talking about the old school ones, the 14s, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and I'm yeah. talking about the, Talking about the older ones, bro. And then you have the thirty ones. Those are the white phosphorus ones. Those ones, those ones, I think made a noise as well, like slightly, slightly. I don't remember. I don't know. It's been years since I. You know, I'm happy to put that to rest, though. Combat, I've always wanted to know combat option operations. No, we we've uh, about that. we actually had, that's a that's a good conversation because I never even thought about it because like I, I just thinking off the top of my head like I've no, what was the last like stealthy game I've ever played. I think it was Breakpoint. Um, Ghost mm-hmm. Recon Breakpoint. It's it had to be like you don't have to be wild, stealthy, but you can be stealthy. 
Oh, this is no, Breakpoint. This is the, Breakpoint's the new one, yeah. Oh, okay. No, I haven't played it. Oh yeah, uh, I played the I played the demo quite a bit, and then I played a little bit of uh, I rented it. I'm not gonna lie. That's because I wanted to see. That's fine. And it wasn't my cup of tea again. Um, and I, I noticed recon? it a lot. Yeah. Well, it no, happens. no, no, no. It's it's um, it's kind of coming becoming like more like a Call of Duty. Like they're coming out with like, the, like the Wildlands was so different. I kind of like that. It was very open. Because, yeah. It had a very like. And same as this game, it's very open as well. But it's just like it's kind of like Wildlands. Me, like it's 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 different, but not different. Like it's the same kind of concept. But I did like the concepts they threw into it. And I know that we, we've discussed this on the podcast last time, but like they have a lot of stealthy aspects to the game that like it really pays off to be stealthy because if you get caught, they radio into a surrounding like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they really come at you. you. Like might go opposed. Yeah, yeah, that's it's, right. It's, uh, it's a pretty pretty intense game, though. I, I did enjoy it, but stealthy games. Um, Metal Gear Solid Five. Yes, sneaking into into camps and stuff that was terrible. Pretty, that was fun. Was I'm, I, I'm the same way though. I like to go and go. I just like, I want to go in guns blaze. Like <sighs> no, I try my hardest, and then I'm just like, you know what? It's taking way too long. Like there yeah. can't be that many people, and then like twenty, like I kill like twenty people, and then all of a sudden like twenty, like twenty thousand more just come pouring out. Yeah. Like where do they all come from? I think what else was a stealthy game? I don't know, I, Hitman, but Hitman was, it was I like Hitman games, they're really fun, like, they always, like, kind of, like, puzzle-esque, in yeah. my opinion. Um, I think Metal Gear Solid Five was the last, like, more stealthy game that I played, sneaking around, trying to kill people. Yeah. It was a good one, though. Metal Gear Solid Five was yeah, real good. Absolutely. It had, like, a weird kind of twist to it, but it was cool. Weird kind of thing. Yeah, it's cool. true. You, you yeah. did have a weird twist. I don't want to ruin it because I don't. I don't like ruining game like plots of games unless the game came out a really long time. I, I know it did, but I mean, I just don't, still don't like doing it. Even for the, like the Last of Us part, like uh, Last of Us, um, just in general, because some people haven't played it yet, and it was free on if you have PlayStation Plus. Um, and it's going to be ten dollars for Black Friday. Black Fr- oh yeah, we were going to talk about Black Friday. Yeah, let's jump right do- into Black Friday. We can, yeah. Oh, um, we can totally talk about Black Friday, dude. The one thing that I did see that I'm really yeah, excited about blow. in general was they had two dollars. To its two hundred dollar VR bundle, VR headset. It bundle comes with the Astro Astrobots and uh, the Moss game, which is cool. So I demoed that Moss game, bro. That you, you're a mouse. You're like this little mouse running around, yeah. but with your VR headset on, you can look like this. You can even stand up and like look around like this mouse, and you're controlling the Wait, mouse. You look around the mouse, like you can so you look down at the so mouse. So there was a, there was one part where in the very beginning of the game, I go up. You're like starting his little house. I run over to leave his house, and, and you can see like where I'm looking at right here. There's a door, and then I'm moving the mouse around. So yeah. as I get to the door, I was like, huh? So I moved. Physically got up and moved and like looked into the door to see if I was going to walk into a trap or something. I was like, oh, okay, cool. It just goes to the next thing. And I walked the mouse through it. So are you in first person as the mouse? No, no, no. You're in your, the mouse is third person, but you can, it's like if this is the mouse and you can just do like, oh, all of this. okay. That's, yeah. So the mouse is stationary. You look around the mouse. You can look around the mouse, but you're con- you're controlling the mouse with a controller. Oh, okay, okay. So oh, okay. like you're looking at you're looking at a big open room and you're moving the mouse and making him do what he wants. But if I, you're like sense. if you're like what's he looking at or why can't I get that? You can physically get up and move. Now I can be on this side and I'm on this side of the room that the mouse yeah. is in. Yeah, it's crazy, dude. I think the concept sounds pretty neat though. I, it was I, cool, I, man. I didn't get too too far, but it's uh, one of the demos that I played. It was pretty cool. But yeah, that's uh, I'm sorry, yeah, I had to kind of cut away. A little tangent. What did we okay. say? Mouse, that game was cool, man. The mouse was cool. Um, yeah. Well, what did we say it was? Two, 200 right? Yeah, it was 200 bucks. But if you get it at Kohl's, though, you can get $60 back in Kohl's cash, which is awesome. That means you can buy a brand new game. You can buy Death Stranding. You can buy Star Wars Jedi Knights of the... Uh, Star Wars... Uh, geez, oh, man. Star Wars Jedi yeah. Fallen Order. I can't even say yeah, it. Yeah, it's fine. Too much stuff going on. More uh, Mortal Kombat's gonna be. What do we say? We said Mortal Kombat's gonna be twenty five bones. Something like that. Oh, here's a list. Perfect. Um, Spider Man Game of the Year oh, twenty man. bucks. That's that's a GameStop. And oh, GameStop, yeah, GameStop also GameStop. has Le- uh, Legend of Zelda: Breath of yeah. the Wild for forty, 40 bucks. Forty that's, bones. That's, that's really dropping really real good. quick. Um, uh, GameStop has oh, Anthem, oh. For five, <laughs> Anthem for five. Anthem's bucks. gonna be five bucks if you guys want to go pick up Anthem and play it by yourself because no one's playing it. You can get it for five dollars. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if people are still playing it. I had sold both my copies of it. Um, um, oh, know. you know what? I didn't. One of my copies is a digital copy. I might jump on that. Yo, go pick up Anthem. I'll be on Anthem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing Anthem. Dude, I haven't played Anthem um, in forever. Best on. Buy has Best uh, Mortal Buy. Kombat for 25 That's, bucks. That's yeah, what it was at. Best Buy has Mortal Kombat for 25 bucks. Um, Gears 5, 25 bucks. I know off the top of my head, Amazon had... 
Red Dead Redemption, twenty five bucks. Oh yeah, that's that's a good game to pick up. I I actually really enjoy that game. It can be slow at times, but it's an extremely fun game. There's a wide open world to explore. If you haven't picked it up, Rockstar is awesome at making open world games, and we will touch upon that a little bit later in the podcast because I'm excited to announce or announce this. But that's let's later on. Anyway, I want to continue. To oh, go. We, there was one other one up there. Uh, uh, I just saw it. Um, oh, WWE 2K20. If, if you, you want, want bugs, if you want, bugs, if you want yeah, a lot of bugs, jumping around, you. doing a bunch of really funny things. Um, Call of Duty. If you're still, you know, still wanting to get Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Okay. I don't know why you'd want to, but it's thirty dollars. Yeah, you can do uh, Modern Warfare. It's, it's going to be pretty cheap, I'm sure. But we'll, we, we shall see. Hey, did you guys know there's a Shinmu three? Like. W- I played Shinmu and I didn't know that there was a Shinmu three. Um, there's I'm a Shinmu three. If you didn't know, there's a, it's like out. You can get it, and I think it's gonna be. What did we say? Uh, I saw it. Twenty. I think it's twenty five dollars as well. What Shinmu three is twenty five bucks. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 34, 35 bucks. Yeah, thirty five bucks. Apparently, like what? Like where's the like what? There's a Shinmu three. I don't know. If you guys have played Shinmu three, let me. I let me know if I should play it because I don't. I played the other ones and I don't know. Oh, there's uh. Tom, Clancy, uh, Tom Clancy's Breakpoint. Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I was talking about yeah, twenty-eight, 28 bucks. Twenty-eight bones. Spider-Man for fifteen dollars. Oh, this is all these this last ones we talking about. Best Buy, yes. Yeah, dude. So. Kingdom Hearts three for fifteen bucks too. That's gonna be awesome. That's a. Uh, uh, did you play? Did you play Kingdom Hearts three? I did not. I oh, really dude, wanted I have to. A poster hanging. Oh, I have a poster of Kingdom Hearts so you can bring. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. yeah. Uh, so um, uh, Amazon. Um, there's a lot of games that are actually ten dollars, which uh, is The Last of Us. If you didn't get it for free for PlayStation, <laughs> yeah, because it, it was for free for PlayStation for PlayStation Plus, I believe last month. Mm-hmm. I want to say for October. Yeah, it was yeah. free. Um, it's ten dollars. You can get it. Um, if you haven't got it, if you played it, you need to get it. It's only ten dollars. Um, there's what other game was there? Ten, ten. Oh, um, was it, was it Horizon Zero Dawn? Something like that. It was ten dollars. Um, the collection of uh, Uncharted games. The, oh the, yeah, the, the bundle, Uncharted the bundle. Pack. Yeah. Um, that's ten dollars. That, that whole was pack. Really that's three games for ten bucks. Yes. So one. That's two, a steal. If you guys haven't played, if you guys haven't played Uncharted, it play. It's like the Mel version of Tomb Raider. It plays really similar. It's a great game. If you get three of those games for ten dollars, that's a steal. And Target has a lot of games that are on sale for. Target. Um, Target has yeah, Modern Warfare, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare for forty five bucks. That's not bad at all. Um, they have a lot of controllers, forty dollars controllers, Xbox, PlayStation, uh, Nintendo Switch, Traveler, Go, Play, Action Pack, twenty bucks. Yeah. Um, these aren't very good. These aren't very good savings though, from what I'm seeing. No. Oh, here we go. Not that, yeah, you said the Xbox One X bundle. It's the yeah. one terabyte five uh, gears five. They're gonna have that one for 150 bucks off. That's a good. That's a good buy. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, there's just you just keep your eyes out. There's a ton of deals out there for gaming. I, and I, Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday is right around the corner. Yeah, well. uh, and I'm I'm never really shocked. Like I'm never really surprised by the deals. It's mostly when it's Cyber Monday, Amazon's the place I go, and it's just a lot of Amazon products that are on sale. So I'm actually really shocked in general that it's it it seems like it's not really like heavily on a saving thing like tons and tons of money it's just like the deals that you would see for um for black friday just like maybe a couple more dollars off is what yeah. i normally see and yeah you gotta remember though that black friday and cyber monday are not about video games specifically they're about everything and i know and the tvs tvs are on sale and those are really Dude, good deals tvs black- are insane priced right now bro like so, if you're a gamer, you shouldn't be gaming on anything less than uh, at least the motion enhancement technology of whatever brand you're using being getting you to that 240 refresh rate. Um, but Samsung right now, Best Buy's got the Samsung TV 549 for a 70-inch. That's so, just 70 inch for 549. So if your thing is if you're if you're the the type that you don't care about the specs and the processor inside the computer, or it's essentially it's a computer. A computer. Yeah, well, yeah, it's essentially a computer. Well, but inside of the television, then, and you're just looking for a bigger size to game on. Yeah, man, swing into a Best Buy, grab a Samsung Six Series for five forty nine. Um, yeah. Vizio, Vizio is a good bang for buck, right? They got a six forty nine TV right now. The M series Quantum. Um, those are those TVs are great for video games. They're gonna have the higher refresh rate and Quantum coloring. Um, six forty nine for the M series, thousand bucks for the P series at a sixty five inch. And these are TVs that if you're not game, if you're looking to step up your gaming, you need to go to. And if you want to play, you know, Google Stadia, uh, say a nice TV, that's the way to go. It's definitely the way to go. Your OLEDs will still be the the best. That's what I game on as an OLED. 
not to I gotta throw a little bit of bragging in there. I got the OLED. Yeah, the OLED is yeah. so extremely nice. It, it, it really is it, yeah, beautiful it's a, it's picture quality, quality yeah. honestly. It's, it's fantastic. Good. Um but yeah, man, like there's some some really good some really good prices out there. The E series uh, no, I'm sorry, the V series Vizio, I think it's is six forty nine right now for a seventy inch. Um, and that one's gonna have a higher refresh rate and a better processor than the six series Samsung. But beauty's in the eye of the beholder. You go look at it, whatever TV you want. If you think it looks good, buy that one. Talking about TVs, I know that you were talking about last podcast about the Mandalorian. The Mandalorian, man. Did you you got to? I got to people. Watch... Little, I got to. Look, I got to peep a little bit of the Mandalorian, man. Um, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a teeny teeny bit. I love the way that Disney is holding true to the Star Wars feel. Yep. Um, and what I mean by that, what I mean by that, let's like, let's think like, so whenever you have something happen inside of the, the show, the movie, whatever, and then the next scene is an opening circle into a galaxy that has a ship flying through space. Yeah. Like that's a very Star Wars esque like yes. cinematic feel. Um, and so they they held, they kept true to all of that. Um, but I also agree. <laughs> <laughs> when you were talking about how it seems like his hide's getting saved a little bit by luck more so than yeah. skill. So when you first see the opening of this of this uh, show, the series, he comes across as a complete um, badass. Am I allowed to say badass? Yeah, you're allowed to say badass. Badass. He comes across as a complete badass. Um, but even like... 15, 20 minutes after that, you see, right? <laughs> you see it him all falls not apart. being a badass. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, like I said. Like even um, I'm three episodes in, and I see you saw only saw the. Yeah, I saw the first. I saw the first, first one. I'll, I'll, I'll catch up. Also, yeah, we'll, we'll talk. About but that. no, but even in the third episode, I'm not ruining anything, any of the plot or anything like that, mm-hmm. or the anything that happens. But like again. Like, you, you still see flashes of him being a badass. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it just gets taken away. Like, like his his awareness, his self-awareness is, like, awful. It's almost like he has a bunch of insecurities. <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> know, know what it, what is. it like, is. It's like he's insecure, and it's just making him suck. Is this his, is this his armor that he's insecure? I don't know. Yeah, he got that. Yeah, he got the... I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know, bro. I'm telling you, man. It just... It, it doesn't... Hasn't gotten better with the yeah. way, like, he's not, like, a hitman. Like... If I were in trouble, bounty hunter. I, I, I know. I'm saying like, <laughs> if I were in trouble, I wouldn't be like, let me call the Mandalorian because I'd be like, there's a good chance that he might fail because he's just like, if he doesn't get saved by somebody else or something yeah. else, like, there's a good chance he might die. He's like, yeah, I'm on my way. But like, oh, cool. Are you bringing anyone? No, I'm coming alone. You should probably bring someone with you, man. Yeah, you should probably, <laughs> you should yeah. probably have someone. Maybe with you. you should tag someone else in yeah. your guild. Eventually, tag yeah, team. Something. I don't know. Something. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. But yeah, I'm glad you you get to watch it and see what I'm yeah, talking about because it doesn't get any better as like as the it's progressing. Show progresses, yeah. yeah, I haven't seen. Uh, I need to watch it. Oh, talking about shows progressing. Oh, Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. I dude, I've been slacking, bro. Okay, so you got to remember, I work in retail. It's Black Friday week. Yeah. It's I'm I'm a busy man right now. Okay, right. so I haven't watched the last Rick and Morty. Um, but what you you said you did, and what do you think about it? Oh man, I'm still not impressed. Like I loved every season thus far of Rick and Morty, and I loved every episode. I'll watch every episode over and over again. But this season hasn't really got my attention to the point that I'm like I'm on board with this season. Like really, I, I'm sad to say. Um, this episode, I'm not going to ruin it for anyone. It's just, I'll tell you what the whole theme of it is. It's about heists, um, and it keeps on bringing home the concept of heists and how they think it's ridiculous heists are. Like, well, Rick feels like heists are ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Um, so it kind of makes fun of it the entire episode, and it gets to the point that I'm like, okay, I, I, I understand you guys are making fun of heists. It, it's just an episode about heists, like the entire episode. So, like, um, I'm not impressed thus far, but I'm sure it's going to get better. And my friend was actually talking to me today about it and saying that he has an interesting theory about this this uh, season. And I don't know if it's out there. I haven't really read. I haven't really read anything about okay. what people are expecting from this this uh, I guess season of Rick and Morty. But he was saying that he thinks that you're going to really find out about Rick's wife this this season. And okay. he kind of brought up the fact or idea of the the a lot of the episodes uh, previous episodes uh, other seasons. They kept on hinting at the fact that he can never bring back his wife, and he thinks that she is gone from the quantum realm. Like she is just like wiped off of every instance in the world. Like, mm-hmm. and the reason why in the second episode of this season he didn't kill the guy for using his toilet is because his wife died, 
but he understands the pain of losing a wife. Hmm. And, and like, so yeah. this whole season is going to revolve around, and he's thinking it's going to revolve around Rick's wife and how that really ties into the world of Rick and Morty and why Rick is the way Rick is. Dude, I would I would love to see them go that deep into the character of Rick. So do I. To, to really see... Yeah, why he is the way he is and where, where all of this stems from. Because he definitely has a, a terrible outlook on humanity yeah. and on the universe. And even like his, uh, like I love his sarcasm. I love his, his oh, yeah, temper and things like that. Oh yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, but like, because you remember the old, like other episodes, the older episodes that um, it's when he found out how to use the uh, portal gun. Mm-hmm. Like he figured out that whole, um, the whole thing. He was just more or less... Um, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. He wasn't, like, the way he was, and then that happened, and he, like, changed his life forever. Yeah. I mean, so, it's also... We also see the same thing with Morty. Whenever whenever Morty dies... Or, he doesn't die, but they mess the world up to the point... It's the episode where he asks for a love potion. Oh, and, that's the one Cronenberg episode, yeah, basically? It, they turn into, like, those, those the mantises, mantises that are trying thing, to eat yeah, Morty. That, that episode, and then they, he's like, yeah. yo, I found a fucking... Or, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> The the uh, the mantis episode, Go yeah, ahead. and he he finds a um, he, there's a low po- love potion. They find it an alternate universe where they can go to, and it's like the same, and like it's right when Rick and Morty die, so they like bury them in the backyard. Yes, and you can see right then in that episode, you can see Morty change. You can watch him. You can watch him change, and it shows him walking through life normal. And like I just like I think that that's a really big. Because backstory to when you watch Rick and Morty and you see farther on going into the episodes how messed up and where like Morty really has just had, kind of had a mental snap. So it would be amazing to see a backdated where we get to actually see and find out why Rick is this way as well. Yeah. Lead to more. Yeah, I'm, I'm all about it, man. I'm all about it. Super in depth. I love it. I love no, but they, it. Like he gave me more examples and I can't remember them off the top of my head, but it like really hits like home when he was talking about how the facts that like. I, every episode kind of lines up to show like how Rick has obviously even his catchphrase "Wubba Lubba Dub Dub" Wubba is, Lubba Dub Dub doesn't like please kill me I'm in pain or something like that I can't remember what it what it uh, means I, I, can't, I can't remember it said it in one of the episodes and I can't remember off the top of what head what yeah, it, what it said but like even that kind of hints to the fact that like he's in so much pain that's the reason why he is what he like how he is yeah I I, I would love to see that I hope I hope oh. everybody's right I I look forward to. I really do because I hope it saves the series for me. Like I'm not saying it's terrible thus far. I'm just saying that it's probably my least favorite season of Rick and Morty um, so far. So I, I mean, no worries, it happens. I know some people are gonna get you know upset about me saying that, but I mean it. it I mean I haven't seen anything yet. Like every episode, like like the, the, the what's the Pirates of the Pancreas and things like that. Like mm-hmm. just such a well thought out episode. Like just funny. Like yeah. really good. But um, I feel like these are really outlandish and they don't really line up and they. You know what I mean? Like I just like I still feel I like need to watch it. I need to watch it. Maybe I'll have the same feeling after I watch the third episode. I yeah. can't believe I missed it, man. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I it's only Monday. It. I mean, you missed it. Yeah, it was last night. So I oh, know I can't believe I missed it. I was home. Yeah, <sighs> not big deal. Sorry. Yeah, man. Good, good times. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to see that. Yo, can we talk about the VR a little bit? Yeah. Can yeah. we? Or, or augmented reality? Yeah. Because Half-Life Alex looks sick. <laughs> it's VR. <laughs> it looks... Is it VR? Yeah. No, I thought this Alex was is Val- VR. It's, but, it's Val- but it's Valve with Apple and Apple no, is... No, 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 no. Val- Valve is working with Apple to make a VR uh, or AR, but Half-Life Alex is VR for sure. Oh, okay. Cool. So. Sick. It's going to be awesome, bro. Uh, watching that trailer that we were just watching looks really great. Um you're gonna have the ability, like you said, you think you thought you saw him throw like a random object. Um, I like how it showed him like reach up and like grab the gun, reach up and catch something, lock it in, shoot it. Um, I'm looking forward to to this game. Yeah, I, I don't know how long the game is gonna be. Um, have to be that long. But I know that I do know these two things. I know that it's gonna be completely in VR, and I do know that it's gonna take place before uh, between Half Life and Half Life Two. So this whole time frame is I believe that I remember in the trailer they were talking about getting a weapon and this weapon's extremely important. So I, I think that's your main objective in the game. I'm not hundred percent sure. Hmm. Um Alex's dad gets captured and they're going to question him more about more or less about where this uh, I guess weapon is. I, I I might be wrong about the weapon part, but yeah. I, I wanna say it was weapon they said. I I'll have to look back at the trailer. Yeah. But, um 
but no, this game looks really. It looks awesome. cool. I just like the. I like the. Um, it looks Half Life esque. Yes, so very, pumped. very Half Life esque. It has a very Half Life feel to it. And there was this part where um, it showed like a, a a cabinet or not even cabinet, like a shelf that had a bunch of clutter on it, and the oh, person's yeah. hands like move stuff out of the way, grab bullets, load a gun, and then turn to the left and shoot. Like, and there's a there's an enemy coming up, and I thought that that was sick. I was like, dude, it was like that looks like it's in the moment, like. Yo, I gotta find like oh here's I, I a bunch of mess. I feel like I'm gonna fall over if I play this. Standing I think you're up. gonna fall over as well. I feel like you're gonna fall over. I'll stand behind you and catch you. No, because there's like an instance in which like they were looking um at I guess it was like a creature and I don't know the creature's name. Damn. It hops and it jumps at your face like a face hugger basically from the thing. Yeah. Um, but then she looks to the left and then it jumps in at you and I would yeah. probably fall over right then. Yeah, there. she put her hands up too. You could see that she was like, yeah. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure that in, in the moment, if I didn't know that was coming, I'd probably just, you know. Yeah, you'd be done. Gotta, right. I gotta sit. And play. I didn't say you might have to sit down and play this game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. It looks really cool, intense. though, man. I'm actually, like, super pumped for it. Um, so, just, I guess we'll just have to wait and see more trailers on that game and see how it goes, man. Yeah. Um, I know what you, else? Yeah. I know you want to talk about Sonic. I know you I do. Say, I do want ahead. to talk about Sonic. Yo, so I think Sonic looks a lot better now. He so looks after a the lot. remake, I know when the episode we we literally came out and said what, two up two episodes ago, I believe. I don't remember. I think what? it was more than that. I think it was like three or four episodes ago. Oh, I don't remember. But we this were talking about how we didn't hear anything from Sonic. Yeah, and it's it was just gone. Super ironic that we said that because as soon as we said that, we filmed it like two days. Uh, before we released it, so we filmed it on a Monday, and it was, we released the podcast episode on a Wednesday. Um, we said this on Monday that we didn't hear anything about Sonic, mm-hmm. and on Tuesday they're like, "Hey, here's the new Sonic." Yeah, and I'm like, "What? What the heck?" Like, I actually <laughs> sent you text messages. I'm pretty sure I'm like, they actually showed the new Sonic. Yeah, dude, it. I like the way it looks, man. I think he looks so much better. And for this video, when we're doing this right now, like when we're talking, you got to cut this part out right here and then put in Sonic so you can see the difference. Yeah. Anyways, so Sonic, man, I think he looks a lot better. I think that they, I think it looks more, it's weird as it says to say natural for a cartoon character. Yeah. But it, it looks, looks more, more to the real. Yeah. It looks more real to life than it does, um, than it did, than it did prior. Um, it also seems like they might have. I think they changed his voice as well. I think they switched up the way he sounds. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to look, relook at it. But I just remember seeing the. I saw the trailer and I, I didn't compare the two trailers side by side. But I think they switched up the way that he sounds. Um, and it. But I think it looks good, man. I think it looks really good. They had to spend a ton of money. I think it was like. Oh, I can't remember the amount of money they had to spend on the remake of Sonic the Hedgehog after the fan the fans got a hold of it and said, yeah. this is ridiculous, that I don't accept the Sonic. That's funny. I think uh, they spent like a couple million? I, I want to say, I, I mean, I could be completely wrong. I know they had to spend a lot of money they, to do a remake. They're going to get my money, man. I'll be there. Open, I'll be there. Not open tonight, but I'll I'll go see it. I want to see. I, wanna, this, I don't usually want to see movies in theaters. I want to see this movie. You know what's theaters. sad, though? I think that they, and I'll be 100% honest, I think that they... And there's there's some like theories out there that they messed up the way that Sonic looked on purpose so they would bring more people into the theaters and get more people to like actually look at the, the movie Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm Maybe not sure if that's really what they did because it cost them in the long run supposedly to, to fix the way that it looked. I, Maybe I guess any publicity is good publicity, but that's I would have never right? known about the Sonic, and I wouldn't really care if I just saw the first trailer and I, they're like Sonic the Hedgehog movie. I just been like okay. Cool. Yeah, people Never do that all the time. Uh, did you ever hear uh, the movie Max Tucker? Uh, I hope they serve beer in hell. No. Well, he had when his movie came out, he had like billboards and and stuff about it, and he paid people. He paid people to go and and graffiti them because people graffitiing over these new, you know, hey, watch this movie, and then people graffitiing it makes people go, I wonder what that movie's about. Yeah, and, and it worked. <laughs> yeah, That's what I'm saying, though. Like, genius, if, if I would have never, like, if I would have seen Sonic the Hedgehog the trailer the first time it was done, I'd have been like, yeah, this is something I'm not probably gonna watch. Yeah. But now that I've seen like what Sonic looked like compared to what he is now, mm-hmm. and they have Jim Carrey. Dude, uh, I, I, yeah, I think I like, I'm gonna have to see it. I like the Jim. I like the Jim Carrey thing, man. Jim Carrey's cool. I think he's gonna play Doctor Robotnik very well. I think it's going to be a really funny kind of take on it, but an also, like, evil kind of take on it. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's going to be good. I, yeah, I'm actually kind of excited about it. I want to see which way he takes it. Definitely. Definitely. 
Um, nothing like a good old remake of Sonic, you know what I mean? I really like remakes. Remakes. I see, I see what you're doing. This is a good transition. I, tried, I like man. it. Go, go oh, for dude, it. Final Fantasy VII, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Final Fantasy um, VII. We were just talking about this before the podcast. Yes. And um, this is a game that we both actually like. Oh my gosh, yeah. Final this, Fantasy VII for the, like, for the PlayStation? Yeah, for the PlayStation What's 4. This is, awesome. a game, this is a game that I will I will add to my collection. I, I, want to, I want to add Jedi Fallen Order like we keep talking about. I need to go pick that game up. because I'll make sure you pick it up. But I'm a bigger bigger Final Fantasy fan. Um, oh, and yeah, that's the game want, you have to get for sure. Yeah, yeah like, I, I, like I, this is just one of those, like, have to be budgeted into the uh, the bills that month. Um, speaking of which, it's going to be March 3rd, 2020, is when we're looking. Supposedly, we're looking. the re- release date is. That's what the they say. That's what we, and that's going to be the new, and they've also switched up, I don't know if you saw this, but they also switched up the fighting style in this one. Which I'm kind of like no. hit or miss what? on. Okay, so yeah, it's please. gonna be it's gonna be more of a uh, more of a hack and slash, more of a running around type of. No, uh, so it's fighting. not turn based. Yeah, it's not gonna be turn based. What? That was way. the best part about it, right? Well, it, I mean, like that's just I don't know, but that seems from what I've seen about it, that's how it's gonna be. It's gonna be more of a. No offense, I hope you're wrong. I'm uh, pretty. Hope, I'm pretty sure that I, I see, I'm never wrong. I was wrong one time, and I actually it's because I thought I was wrong, but it turns out I was right. So. They also announced that they are doing a part two. two yep. So it seems like they're going to come out with the Final Fantasy, and then they're going to continue on after the uh, the Battle of Sethroth. We don't know what that looks like. Oh, I guess we would actually be going past Advent Children because they came out with the movie, which was what five years after um, Seth- the Sethroth battle. I th- think so. <laughs> yeah. So we don't know where this is. Maybe this will ha- take place in between, or maybe this will take place after. We don't know yet. Oh, dude, the new Tony Hawk, man. I remember playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater back in the good old days for PlayStation. Um, no, nah, man, it was all about the Game Boy Advance. Oh yeah, I did. Color I Game Boy Advance, I, I did Game Boy Color Advance. Back in the day, so much fun. It was amazing. Oh yeah, the graphics were like un- unmatched, man. So I'm curious to see what they do for this new one. I think I think this game Skate that came out. You said you didn't play it, but Skate I was a really Skate. Skate was pretty cool, man. It had a very um, it seemed very realistic, I guess. I guess cool doesn't describe anything that I'm talking about. Do you remember it's the like anti gravity that they used to have? For... <gasps> yeah, dude. I used and to play as music, Wolver- dude. Wolverine too. Like, yeah, man. It was awesome. Wolverine bro. and anti gravity, and I would do tricks that were so much fun. Oh my goodness, like triple, triple act. I don't even know, man. Yeah, I, mean, I just, just used to do some crazy some like anti gravity. It was so craziness, cool. man. Um, yeah, those were really good games. Do cheat codes even exist anymore with games? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, remember back? Like, I remember back in the good old days when I used to play Grand Theft Auto, and I used to do yeah, God R1, R2, or, uh, L1, R2, no, left dude, down, right up, left down, right up, boom, guns. Yeah, dude, it was. I can't believe you remember that. It's all about I still, the I, I up, up, down, down, left, right, start, A, B, A, B, select. That's all about yeah. that back in the day. Um, but yeah, uh, Duke Nukem on PC. You would enter God mode, and it would like make you invisible. I don't know, or invincible. invincible. Uh, I don't know. And, and you just go, and you'd be gone. You just walk through the whole Duke Nukem game without ever doing anything. Yeah, no one um, see you. It was. I don't know, man. It was. I don't know if there's still there is I don't, though. I'm sure on certain. I games, know you can. I'm sure on games. Tony. I'm sure on Tony Hawk, you will have the ability to go in and do. It. If I don't, I'm gonna be super upset because that's what I, that was my favorite part about Tony Hawk. Like the game goes cheating. Ten, yeah. Which is cheating. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The okay. cheat codes in it, man, were That's so much fun. Product, right? Unlocking a bunch of <laughs> Unlocking a bunch of characters <laughs> that you would never get normally. Yeah, and then man. also playing with anti gravity. So like just yeah, dude. And I think there was one that like you couldn't fall off your skateboard. Like you can mess up and not land something technically, but you can't like hit a lip. You know what I'm talking oh, about? If you do yeah. a flip and like you don't go off of like it, it like automatically puts you back on a ramp kind of yeah. kind of thing. Like you do a giant flip and it would like Aim you right on that ramp so you don't have to aim yourself. It just like automatically make you. Yeah, man. You just rack up points and skate around. And there was wasn't there graffiti things right? You had to like. You pick up the word skate. I'm pretty sure. Pick up the word skate. Yeah, dude. There was a lot of fun stuff in Tony Hawk. So them coming out with a new Tony Hawk, maybe it'll be. Will you pick this one up though? Is the question. Or I'll probably rely on you to rent it and me come over here and play it. Disappointment. I know, man. I don't know, dude. I don't. I life is different right now. We'll give it a, give it a month and we'll see if I'm, I'm if I'm not just racking up a game collection again and just got a crazy game collection because that's what I used to do. I still have a good I still have a good stack of games. Stacks on stacks on stacks. Stack, of games. Stacks on stacks on stacks. All right. <laughs> no, man, I still have stacks on stacks of games, man. But it's all digital now for the most part. Do you have the new Rockstar game in there? Which Rockstar game? You the new one. About? The medieval one. 
No. That's not even a thing yet. Nope, but it might be. It will be. <laughs> yeah, so Rockstar's coming up with a new game. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm all about the transitions today, bro. I'm all about it, dude. Yeah. Um, yeah, Rockstar just announced that they're going to do their um, their uh, Project Medieval, right? So it's going to yeah. be set in European medieval times. So getting away from the guns and I'm sure there's going to be horses, but no cars. But it's going to be more like swords and... No, but they said that I guess when they when they found out about this whole thing, it's rumored to be it's not for sure happening. Mm-hmm. They said it's rumored to be so. A while back, the company basically uh, there was a title that was rumored to be shelved like uh, a whole bunch of years ago, which yeah. was a medieval game, and now apparently the company is um, supposedly supposed to be doing a medieval game set in the European times, back in the medieval European times. But it's basically saying that um, they got caught saying something like uh, creating a modular environment. Piece with organic finish, uh, carefully showing or carefully following medieval architecture styles. So it's kind of hinting at the fact that they're really going for a medieval kind of architecture. So that's why I think it's going to be a medieval game that Rockstar mm. is going to get their hands on. And having that said, that's awesome. Yeah. Can well, you imagine an open world medieval game? I mean, well, I guess Skyrim kind of was. I was going to say, I was going to say, <laughs> I was gonna say Skyrim and though. Assassin's Creed was more medieval times. Yeah, but Assassin's Creed was very like it was very yeah, open, was, but like yeah, it wasn't open. I, I can't explain it. Like yeah. it was definitely open, to, but to have a Grand Theft Auto medieval game, yes, where you're running around with swords. The thing is, though, the same way that I keep talking about Red Dead Man is that like I like the fact that I can jump in a car, or a motorcycle, or a boat. Like I like that modernness with it, where because it's very fast. Because pace, back in the day, okay, so back in the day, it's not just the fast pacedness of it, but yes, but back in the day, whenever even even back in the cowboy times, like shooting someone and like all that outlaw stuff, that was like a thing. You know what I mean? When you look at Grand Theft Auto Five and you look at the more modern time, like you're a thug, but like you're breaking the law and have people coming after you, opposed to like that you have a couple towns in, in Red Dead. So if we go even farther back before that, like people are obviously walking around cutting each other's, you know, hands and arms and legs and stuff off and jumping on horses and still stuff. Like it's medieval times. Yeah, of course. You see what I mean? So like I don't I don't know, man. I wanted to make it more modern. I just want another modernized story. They they, they... Grand Theft Auto Six, but uh, but what I'm saying, no, it, I, I'm so excited they're taking a different approach though because maybe. yeah, and if it isn't different, if it isn't play, see, so Red Dead Red Dead was so mimicked after Grand Theft Auto that it, it's like almost like Grand Theft Auto, but it was 6. like the the old Red Dead Redemption. I mean, not from the very first one, but Red Dead like Red Dead Redemption, like yeah. Was a great game. It, yeah, and I'm not saying that it's not a great game. No, yeah. What I'm saying, saying is that, like, when I think Grand Theft Auto, even Grand Theft Auto one, two, three, even Grand Theft Auto four, and then five, um, what we're talking about is we're talking about the same kind of era. You know, you had Vice City, which was a little bit farther back, but even we're, three we're, was it's, farther back. Too. Yeah, but it's the story. It's the story that they're getting into, and I think it's more relatable if the story is in modern times. It's very calm. Like, turn on the news and like watch the news. Like, that's what you see. So to be going back to medieval times with horses and then even, or with Red Dead Redemption and even farther back, I like Rockstar. I like what they do with their games. I like the openness of it, but... I'm interested to see what they're going to do. Yeah. That's what I'm looking too. at because... Um, I, I am too. And maybe it'll be awesome, man. Maybe you can just pull a sword out and cut someone's head off. Oh man, I don't know what that was. Maybe you can just pull a sword out and cut someone's head off, but... Yeah. I don't know, but... Because... You're right in the sense that there's so many ways they can travel. Like, so you can travel by plane, helicopter, boat, car, truck, motorcycle. Yeah, like, you can just you but can do everything. In the medieval man. times, can you travel by catapult? <laughs> can they put you in a catapult and just shoot Throw you across you to the, the next town? Yeah. yeah. Like, um, you can only travel by, you know, horse. Exactly. And that's the only thing I can think of. Exactly. But I understand, but maybe it's more or less for the gameplay of. Swords. I, I I don't know. Like I'm interested to see how it's carried out because if like I, I really I know that the idea of a slower paced kind of game is is kind of boring to you in the in the in the world of Rockstar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But there's some games that can like can carry that stuff out very well. Mm-hmm. And I uh, like I loved Skyrim. I will play Skyrim over and over and over and over again. And I know obviously over, it's made, you beat it. <laughs> 
Yes, but uh, I'm sorry, you know what I mean. Like Skyrim was there's so much. You yeah, can do Skyrim. even side quests. Like, I, yeah, yeah, but destroyed well, it, huh? Yeah, I did. I picked the thing apart. Like Fallout, I beat it 100. Okay. percent Like I found all the locations. Like I had Fallout Three. This is uh, not Fallout Four. I, I beat this, the main quest in Fallout Four, but I didn't do all the side quests and I didn't find all the places. But it was just a goal of mine. Fallout Three. I had more time back in the day. I hear um, that. But no. I, I want to see what they do with it. I really do. Um, will this be a game I'll pick up? Of course. Like I, I want to see what Rockstar does with this because Rockstar, yeah, I mean, everything they touch is is pretty much gold. I, picked up, I bought two copies of Red Dead. Two. I bought two. Yes, I mean, um, me and America. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, I'm still ready to play. I'm still ready to beat the story. Oh, definitely. I'll definitely. You gotta find. Uh, yeah, you, you want you want to play? Yeah. No, I don't have any time to do anything ever. You will. Ugh. Time. There will be time. Set of time. There's enough time for time to come into time. Yeah, we. Uh, I'm just. <laughs> I'm excited to see what what Rockstar is going to do. And once once this, uh, hopefully, because it's still rumor. Like I said, it's not 100 percent true that this is going to happen. Um, I want to see if this is going to happen and what their plans are for this game. Um, I, I'm still excited about it if it, if it's if it comes to pass. Yeah, man. It'll be. It'll, I'm and I'm sure I'll pick it up. Like I said, I picked, I picked up Red Dead. Um, I'm sure I'll pick it up if it comes out because I really like Rockstar. Would you do something Rockstar related if it were set in the future like Cyberpunk 2077? 110%. So you're the saying vehicles, that should... the vehicles are saying... going to go faster than horses and there's going to be guns and there's going to be probably like stores and I don't know digital currency and I don't know it's going to be more modern man. Like come on man. Like come on. I, I understand that. I need that. the tech. I'm I need the tech. I don't like the horses. Cyber- I like the tech. I'm still still on board with Cyberpunk 2077. I'm not going to let it go. Oh, yeah, by no means. Man, if it's the worst game in history, I'm going to cry. I know, man. And I'm going to curl up in a ball and hide somewhere it's for okay. the rest of my life, probably, because this is the game that I'm the most Dude, Death Stranding. I was, so, for. I was so pumped for Death Stranding. And they dropped they drop the ball for you? I haven't, I haven't started from the beginning and playing it, but what I saw you play... The reviews that I've seen, I don't even want to spend the money on it. I'm like, yeah. It, it, you should totally just rent it for a few days. Yeah, sure. Stop at Redbox, rent it, rent that play it Jedi. for a little while. Yeah, I need to. Uh-huh. I'm off tomorrow it's, too, man. Dude, if you don't pick it up, pick up one of those games on your way home today. I was thinking that, dude. I'm <laughs> super upset with you because it's something you seriously need to do. I know, man. And I'm a gamer too. Like It's just life right now. It's just made me so out of it, man. I promise you, I promise you people, I will, like, I get it, I'm on a gaming podcast, I understand, just give me a couple months and I promise, like, I'll be playing every game. Like, I'm a gamer, I just haven't been gaming right now. There's nothing wrong with that. Life life hits sometimes. Lifetime hits, that's right, and that's where we're at right now. It's all good, though. Black Friday's coming up, you have a ton of time to go buy yourself some good stuff. I do. Some nice games. Some controllers, um, accessories, whatever you need, man. This is a good time to get washers and dryers. <laughs> yeah, there's a good time, good time, it's a good time to get, get everything. everything. TVs, if you're a gamer. Squat racks are on sale. Rogue always does really good. Nice. I don't know if you're in squatting, they always do really good racks. Um, yeah, man. Pick up your copy of The Last of Us. Ten now. bucks on Amazon too. Ten dollars on Amazon. That's what I'm saying. Like, you got to do something more or less on the lines of some old mixed with some new. Like, you got to pick up like mixed with a little bit of new, bro. You gotta pick up. I don't know the what is it? Uncharted the little the Uncharted pack. bundles those yeah. are good I actually have a couple I think I actually have a couple of these on my PlayStation if you don't have them that is yeah if you don't have them pick up uh, Uncharted man um, just watch games twenty five dollars Mortal Kombat man that game's got serious replay value you can always throw Mortal Kombat in and play yeah, you can always play buddy yeah I was I was like get over here I love Scorpion my favorite Sub Zero though did you ever play the Sub Zero um, game on N sixty four where it was actually a two D scroller and it was like an actual story? It was called um, Sub Zero Mythologies, I think is what it was called. I don't think I have to be. Dude, it was not a fight. It wasn't a fighting game. It wasn't a fighting game like you're used to Mortal Kombat. It was a two D scroller and you'd have to jump over stuff. And as you as you ranked up and got, it was like a H. It was like well, a, a role playing game. Do you remember what? Mortal Kombat was the one that they introduced a lot of different game modes like for the first time in, in Mortal Kombat history I can't remember what it was but they had like a ton of mini games you can play mm, I think it was, was it, uh, it wasn't Mortal Kombat 3 it was probably Mortal Kombat 4 I know Mortal Kombat 3 is when they introduced the friendship you know instead of fatality you could do like the friendship moves where it would be like you would like pull out a sucker or something or something weird that's really funny. Yeah, I've, I don't honestly remember about it, but I'm saying. You remember the friend? You remember they had friendship? And no, they had, they had fatalities, friendships, and there's another one. There was another one that was like. Was it between an F? 
It seems to be a, a theme. I don't yeah. think it did. I don't remember. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Black Friday's coming. Pick Black up Friday's some stuff. Coming. I'm going to actually pick up Outer, The Outer Worlds. That game is definitely my cup of tea. I am going to play that game <laughs> over yeah, the man. over the weekend. I am. That's I'm going to, up, going to pick up and play it. Um, I think that if you're a huge Star Wars fan, you should pick up uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Order. Yeah. Um, um, I'll be working this weekend because it's Black Friday weekend. Oh, so I rough. will be I will be 12 hour shifts at my job running sales floor and selling product. Well, maybe pick up a copy while you're there. <laughs> snag, snag a few things and hide them in the back. That's what it's all about, right? You're too easy. If you need anything, let me know, man. I got you. Ooh, that's tempting. Um, um, go check out the Sonic trailer. Um, the Half Life Alex trailer just dropped. We got the Rick and Morty episode came out yesterday. Or yeah, we, yesterday. Maybe, yeah. Are we just we're just yeah? We're not hiding it anymore. We do this on we do this on Mondays. <laughs> we're not hiding it anymore. Yeah, we're not hiding the shadows. Yeah, whatever, man. We're we do we do it on seven. Mondays. We yeah, don't do well with stealthy games. <laughs> All right. <Yeah>. Um, <laughs> Peep the Mandalorian on uh, Disney Plus. Yeah, and, and um, if you're a huge Final Fantasy fan, Final Fantasy Seven, my favorite. Huge. Final Fantasy of them all. Um, they're doing a remake. I'm pumped about that, and they're doing a remake. Uh, they're remaking Final Fantasy VII, and they have a part two. A part two of the remake coming out, but we don't know where it falls yeah. at yet, right? Remember, we don't know if it's Advent Children between yeah, Advent Children. I don't, I don't and Final know Fantasy where, where we don't know when it's going to even be released. They said that it's probably going to fall into the category of the new generation of. Consoles, so that's talking about um, yeah, PS Five and yeah. probably Scar- Project, Project Scarlet. Scarlet yeah, uh, it, it's tongue tongue twister. Sometimes. It's a tongue, it's a it's a song, it's a song, it's a tongue. Song. Yeah, that that whole thing. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, Tony Hawk Pro Skater. If you're a huge fan of Tony Hawk, um, yeah, no, did we get a, We didn't get a date for that one though. We don't know when that one's coming out. They just they just talked about this like yesterday or maybe Friday. I, I didn't see remember. the date though. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see any release. They're, 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 they're making a new one. Yeah, it's in development. So we got one of those coming soon. We'll talk about it on the. I'm sure one of the podcasts we'll talk about Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Hey, like us, follow us, uh, hop on um, on YouTube, click the notification bell because if you subscribe to us, it doesn't do anything anymore. You have to click the notification bell. Listen to us on anywhere that podcasts that you can find podcasts. The Rad, Rad Gaming Podcast. We have an Instagram now. There's a Twitter. There's a, a we're all over the place. Find us. Tell your friends. Come listen to us. We do funny stuff and talk about stuff. Uh, apparently, we talked five minutes about night vision goggles. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually pumped about that. Now I know that you can hear them. It's an actual thing. You it's can't very faint. It's very faint. You can hear them. I, you can I'm hear them. I've heard shocked. them. Like real life, I've heard them. That's a, that's real. That's real life. Can we can we purchase night vision goggles? You most for, certainly can. No, I'm saying like for Black Friday. Can we just I'm run sure, around and I'm just play sure with them? If you want, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna play tag in the middle of my house, just pitch black. And just, you can just come find me. You can go. You can go. You know. You can go mess with a uh, with old girl. Just go in there in the middle of the night and click them on. She won't be able to see you. Like, you know. Yeah, exactly. And just, that's yeah. what I want to do. So <laughs> that's what it is. Just <laughs> shoot, shoot, shoot. Does it make a noise when, when you turn them off? Does it? Does it? Power I, I know. I know. I don't know. I I wasn't listening for when you power them down. Dang it. I just want to go, oh man, that's what I want. I want one of those. That's funny. Oh, can I can I cross cross promote something that I saw on Instagram? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so there's this thing on Instagram. If you guys are Instagram people, it's called Ten Thousand Crunches for Christmas. It starts December first. It's four hundred crunches a day up till December twenty fifth. Um, four hundred crunches. Four hundred crunches a day. Oh yeah. man, I don't think I've actually talked to you about it yet. Um, mm. But yeah, it's called Ten Thousand Crunches for Christmas. You can find it on Instagram. Um, there's a bunch of people doing it. I think it's just I think it's just a thing to challenge yourself, to try to develop your mind a little bit, to put yourself in a position where you can say, look, I can do things that I've put myself into and that I've, I've given my word for. So like, check that out, man. It's pretty cool. I'll be participating. You should participate. And, how, do you, uh, how do you participate? You just go to the go to the website. Um, you can uh, tag the dude. I, I should have brought the thing down. Just type in ten thousand crunches for Christmas. It'll be a, a little red logo, and you'll you'll see like that's there's people starting. You to post start videos it. about what you're doing. I'm gonna post videos of me doing it. Um, I've seen a couple of videos. A couple of people have already started um, doing four hundred crunches a day just to say like yeah I'm, I'm game um, to give like motivation to other people. So um, it's pretty cool. Man. I'll hit the link. Um, the first like week I'm gonna be. Toast. Well, it's gonna hurt, man. It's gonna hurt. I, I'm thinking. I'm thinking like day 14, 15, 16 is probably gonna be the worst. Yeah. I bet after. I bet after. I bet up to that, and then those three days, and then the, after that, up to the end is gonna be fine. But I bet like 
I bet those three, like 14, 14, 15, 16, maybe like 15, 16, 17, I bet it's going to be like I bet first week it's going to be rough for me. I'll be honest because I'm going to be sore the first, like after the first day. Oh, it's going to suck. And then I'm just going to, yeah. Continue on, man. Look, you got a little, you can hook your feet right there under the couch and you can just do some sit-ups. 400 a day. I think the way I'm going to do it too, if you guys are, if you guys are down, because I like to talk about stuff like this, but I I think the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to do, um... 200 like regular sit up crunches, and then I'm gonna do uh, 200 reverse sit up crunches every You're day. Do the friendship so ones. it'll still be it'll still <laughs> it'll still be 10,000 crunches. However, it'll be just four five thousand forward, five thousand reverse. Oh yeah. yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be rough one, but I'll, I'm in. Yeah, yeah. dude, I'm, I'm I'm down, man. There's a bunch. Of, there's a there's a good group of people doing it that I know, and um, I'm trying to work, raise. Our I will. For it. We will keep everyone informed if we stay true to our word about. Oh, I'll keep doing out. it. I, I I'm saying uh, I'm in, but we'll see what happens. Yes, <laughs> you shall see. Like I'm probably gonna be dead after day day two. It'll be all right, man. It'll be it'll be well worth it. We can uh, we get you know, old girl into it too. So yeah. We, uh, we definitely can. Definitely. But I guess until next time. And thanks for listening to this episode of the Ragnarine Podcast. Be sure to rate and subscribe to us on iTunes, Spotify, or anywhere else you listen to podcasts. I release a new episode every Wednesday. And as always, stay rad, comrades. <laughs>